Getting ready for green in moments. Couple of street stocks on the raceway, getting a warm up lap or two to make sure that their cars are okay for today's race program. They'll pull off shortly. The pace truck pulls to the infield. Joseph Jennings and Aaron Teagarden, the Vores Welding and Steel Compact 20 lapper is underway at Winchester. And at turn one, we've got cars three and four wide and there's some of our faster qualifiers. Dropping back Shelmadine in the outside lane. Moving up is Kerry Abril into the top six, the 95 of Abril. Sideways is Jennings on the bottom. We're three wide for the four spot. Here comes Brian Martin in the 14. Martin up to fourth. Goes to the outside is Jennings. The 114 of Jennings, the pole sitter, slides back on the inside lane. Looking to thread the needle and unable to do so was Jeff Williams. The leader is Aaron Teagarden after one lap. Teagarden leads. Vester is second. Third is Martin. Here comes Williams into fourth. Williams into the four spot. Running fifth at the line, the 43 of Bigelow. And we've got him out of shape. Down in turn number one, the 33 of Brown, able to gain control. Last night's feature winner nearly wadded his car up. In turn number one, a number of cars were sideways, but they're able to steer out of it with that front wheel drive. Into the wall goes Druk. There goes Shelmadine. Down into the infield, Shelmadine. And we're going to have a caution out. Yellow out with the first few laps in. Shelmadine's car looks like it's going to be able to continue. The right front tire going on the 332 of Doug Druk. Pace truck pit side, green coming out. Two laps in, 18 laps to go for Vester and Teagarden. Teagarden back into the lead. Vester running the second spot. Battle for third. Martin on the bottom. Oh, look out. Three wide. Coming through the middle. Crump following Brown up into the top five or six spots. Brown goes to the bottom. Last night's feature winner on his way to the front. Three laps in. 17 to go at the line for Teagarden. Justin Brown into the fourth position. Battle for the lead. Jeff Williams to the inside lane. Williams. Wheel to wheel on the back stretch with the 24 of Teagarden. Here comes Brown and Crump. Last night it took Crump a while to get to the front tonight. He's wasting no time. On the inside. Crump on the inside of Teagarden. Brown takes the lead in turn three. Crump moves up to third. Brown will be able to clear Williams soon. Just not quite yet come, now he does. Middle of the straightaway and takes over sole possession of the lead and will try to sail away from the rest of the field. He is quicker than Williams, but Crump has followed him so far through the field. Thomas Bigelow in the 43 rubbed the right side of the car against the wall in turn number two. He continues on, but he's gonna pull pit side. It looks like drops to the bottom in three and four. Brown leads lap number six. Brown leads, Williams second, Crump is third, fourth is Martin, fifth is Abril, sixth is Wyman, seventh is Shelmadine, eighth is Teagarden, ninth is Vester, Jennings is tenth, and Stephanie Bigelow is eleventh, but is taking tenth away right now from Jennings. Running twelfth is Slavey, thirteenth Don Bigelow, fourteenth McKinney, fifteenth Iliff, sixteenth the five of Jennings, and 17th is Rick James. <laughs> Losing a couple of spots now and dropping out of the top five, the 95 of Kerry Abril. Abril, the Lightning McQueen look-alike car has dropped into the seventh spot. Crump starts to challenge Williams for second. Nine in, 11 to go at the line. For the first time, some slower traffic ahead for Justin Brown as he closes on 101 of Rick James, driving one of the Bigelow backup cars. Williams so good through the middle of the turns, but Brown so good down the straightaway. We are halfway, 10 laps in, 10 laps to go, a four car breakaway. 
Then back 10, 15 car lengths or so to Shelmadine. Back another five, six car lengths to the 77 of Wyman. Williams closes the gap again, middle of three and four with nine laps to go. Brown leads yet again, looking to make the clean sweep of the weekend. Again, Crump running third last night. He came on late in the race and made some passes to get into the top five. He's in the top five early today, but has not made a move yet on the number 60 of Williams. Eight laps to go that time for Justin Brown, but it's gonna be some heavy traffic soon. In about a lap, they're gonna catch the number five of Andy Jennings. He is the first of the cars to go a lap down that's in line. Phil Iliff up ahead, the 19 of McKinney, the four of Donnie Bigelow, the four cars that are racing with one another at the tail end of the lead lap. Crump starting to look inside of Williams, and here comes Brown. It's a roadblock on the back stretch. Brown has to check up. He goes to the bottom of the track. Williams, see if he can take advantage. Williams will close quickly, threading the needle through the slower cars is Brown. Williams goes through the middle as well. Crump will follow. It will be five laps to go next time, and Williams is to within a car length now of the lead again. Crump, a good run down the backstretch, will close on Williams. He lost a lot of ground on the backstretch that time. Martin running in the fourth spot. Shelmadine fifth. And the only car within striking distance of the top five is the 77 of Wyman. Then it's a straightaway back to Kerry Abril in the 95. Crump has made a move, coming off of two. Good move, Crump. Had a good momentum burst coming off of turn number two. He takes the spot away from Williams. There are four laps to go for Brown. He has a 15 car length lead on the number seven car of Crump. <coughs> Crump will try to close the gap now. Will he run out of time? He is closing the gap definitely through the turn. They come to three to go, 17 in, three to go. And Kyle Crump in the number seven is closing on Justin Brown. Two laps to go. Martin has moved into third. Shelmadine has taken fourth and trying to move into fifth is Wyman. He's still side by side with Williams. And we see the two to go signal, but we have a caution. Yellow flag is out. Vester has lost the right front off of his car. Tries to make it back to his pits. The tire goes up onto the inside retaining wall. And will go around the high banks of Winchester Speedway on its own without the race car as it makes its way down into turn number three. Coming to green off of four, Crump on the inside, Brown on the outside, three racing laps to go in the first event of this Monday portion of the World Stock Car Festival, and Brown goes right back out front. Crump drops in line, two-car breakaway, exiting turn two. Can Crump stay with him? Power down the straightaway, close to being the same. Shelmadine, a little bit of a bump on the 14 of Martin going down the back stretch. Boy, Crump is better through the middle of three and four than Brown is, but only two laps to go. He closed to the rear bumper off of four. Down in one and two, he's a little bit better as well. Crump is right there. Down the back stretch, Brown a little more power on the straightaway. White flag this time. Final circuit for Justin Brown. Brown looking to make it two for two this weekend. He has won races here in the past, and he won last night. Joseph Jennings has pulled into the pits. He is done for the day, and it looks like Brown is going to be bringing it to victory. Crump gives it one last chance down in turn four, went into three hard, comes to the double checkered, and Brown picks up the win. Crump second, Martin third, Shelmadine fourth, fifth spot. Oh, look out. Around goes a couple of cars entering turn one. They're going to be able to get righted, though, as Bigelow and uh, Abril both spun, but everyone able to finish without any major damage.